found right here on Eastman's Hunting TV. We're going to chase big bulls with our 2012 hunt winner. Dan Miller, hey, how you Dan. doing? Good nice to, to meet you, sir. Thank you. Good to meet you. You're the lucky guy, huh? I'm the lucky guy. Well, you're in for a treat. Last year was a really good year, and he said this year's just as good or better. So I'm excited. The elk should still be rutting. Um, they were a little late this year, so they should be hitting the peak of the rut right now. After meeting up with Dan, we headed straight to the range to check a zero. In the meantime, we'll let Dan introduce himself and tell you a little bit about his hunt winter experience. My name is Dan Miller. I'm from Nahaka, Nebraska, which is a small town south of Omaha. I'm originally from Wisconsin. Pretty much uh, white tail hunted. I have uh, done a little bit of mule deer hunting. Shot a very respectable 185 class mule deer. It was a, a very rewarding experience. And now I'm, I'm here uh, with an expectation of killing a bull elk. I've never killed a bull before. I have uh, elk hunted before on public land, uh, late season for cow only. Now that we have Dan all set up with some new gear, it's finally time to head out in search of a big bull. Unfortunately, elk sightings were few and far between that afternoon. We still managed to spot one good bull off in the distance, but with a storm front quickly approaching, gusty winds and sporadic rain made hearing bugles and glassing difficult. By daybreak the following morning, the weather had cleared up, and it wasn't long before we were hot on the trail of a few bugling bulls. After covering quite a bit of ground, we finally closed the distance on these bugles. After the break, we'll see if we can get Dan up close and personal with some rutting bulls for the first time. Let's pick up the action as we try to close the distance on some big bugling Colorado bulls. As we watched this bull herd his cows in a small opening in front of us, we realized that another satellite bull had snuck in on us to our left, determined to come check out all the commotion. Being so early on in the hunt and knowing that there were bigger bulls around, we decided to sit back and enjoy the show.
Guy Eastman can't help himself. He's found the benchmark, and he says, nope, we can do better than that. <laughs> <laughs> Don't shoot that one. Looking for the next level up. It's the third day of our elk hunt with our 2012 EBJ hunt winner, Dan Miller. As we approach the heat of the day after a slow morning of hunting, Paul has decided to do some blind calling in hopes of firing up a bull before we head back to camp for lunch. After stopping to call several times without a response, a bugle finally rang out from the bottom of a steep, dark timbered canyon. Oh, dude, get set up on it. Get set up down there. I'm gonna try to pull him up. Calling a bull uphill out of the bottom of a deep, dark canyon like this doesn't happen very often. But eventually, Paul's calling became too much for this bull to handle, and he finally appears from the thick timber. This is a pretty good bull, but unfortunately, somehow he's managed to shear off most of his left antler. But with at least one other bull bugling, we decided to stay put and see what happens. Frustrated that he hasn't found the cow he was looking for, the one horn bull takes out his aggression on the oak brush and hopes that the commotion will cause the hot cow to expose herself. Is that worth your $25 subscription, Dan? <laughs> I told these guys, I said, get ready. He's about ready to blow your eardrums out. <laughs> he came right over there and just ripped it, didn't he? Yeah. <laughs> Needing a change in luck, we've decided to head to a different part of the area to check out some very large meadows just below a massive burn. Real quiet. Quietly slipping out to the edge of the timber, we quickly spot a big bull working a herd of cows out in the middle of the meadow. Look him over, make sure it's the right one. Yeah, that's the bull I want to kill. This area is a great place to find big bulls later on in the rut, as cows like to congregate in these meadows, drawing bulls from all over the surrounding area. However, it could be a tough spot to hunt, because when the elk get out in the open, there often isn't any way to get close enough for a shot. As the sun began to fade, the herd slowly drifted further and further out into the meadow as the bull worked hard to keep his herd in order and fend off the smaller satellite bulls. Too far. You gotta let him get closer. We made a last ditch effort to close the distance, crawling to the last set of pines on the edge of the meadow. But the bull never came back into Dan's range and we were forced to pull out until the next evening. Well, we're going back in after that big bull. 
we saw last night. There's even a bigger one there now that we saw this morning. So we're gonna sneak in. It's early in the afternoon. We're gonna get all set up and just set up an ambush. We've already seen them working their way down that canyon and out into this meadow. So we're gonna get set up. Hopefully the wind cooperates with us and that bull comes out of the uh, into the meadow where we think he's going to or we can get a shot. It's the big six. They're gonna start making a move for water now. I hope. As we carefully crawled out to get Dan set up on this deadfall, the huge six point and his new herd slowly worked their way out into the meadow. With no more cover in front of us, all we can do is sit back and hope that something causes the big bull to work within range of Dan's 30-06. For the next hour, we watched as this huge bull worked tirelessly to keep his herd in check, literally running back and forth to keep the satellite bulls away from his cows, while he looks for a second cycle cow that has not been bred yet. This is Mother Nature's way of making sure that every single cow in the herd gets bred. Suddenly, out of nowhere, the big bull from last night emerges from the timber. What happened next was almost too good to be true. The huge six point charges over, running off another satellite, then turns to posture up with a bull from last night. And now we have two huge bulls making a beeline straight for us. 350. He's still gotta come. They're both coming to us. Whichever one you like. Three one zero. He's a three. Take him. Hit him. Hit him. The hunter strikes again. That is a huge bull. Huge. Huge, huge bull. Hey Paul, give yes, a sir. thumbs up. I'm gonna send it to the office crew. Say, this is a, another happy hunt winner. <laughs> you bet he's happy. Before we came up here, we made the decision. We shoot either of those two bulls, because we knew they, they were do? in here. What did they do? They so then they up. both come over to under 300 yards from us. So what do you do? Take the closer one. Well, can I put my hands on him yet? <laughs> yeah, let's, yeah, let's walk down to that. Today, we've probably seen four bulls that were in that 350 range. And uh, he's just a great bull. A lot of toad. Dan, I just want you to ease your way up, have a shell ready, and just uh, touch him in the eye. Okay, he's done. Done bar. Oh. High fives, guys. High fives. Yeah, good job, good job, buddy. Thank you. Well, here we are with Dan Miller, our 2012 hunt winner for Eastman's Hunting Journal and Eastman's Bow Hunting Journal. Actually, this is the EBJ hunt winner, and he hammered this humongous bull. This is a giant bull. We watched him for two days, and finally, as Paul says, patience kills, right, Paul? Patience kills. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you think, Dan, for your first elk hunting experience for uh, bulls? <laughs> kind of almost speechless, you know. It's, uh, Something I've always dreamed about, and uh, you guys made the dream come true. So, well, it was a lot of fun having you. We hope uh, hope you have a good had a good time here. Had a wonderful time here. It, everything everything's been way above what I ever expected it to be. And remember, fair chase is the only way to hunt and take trophy big game. I'm Guy Eastman. We'll see you next week right here on Eastman's Hunting TV.